Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be covering Blue Red Phoenix. So this is my take. So we started out at 92% in Mythic and climbed all the way all the way to 45 with this deck and basically this deck is one of the most consistent decks I've ever played. And our take on it is one of operating within three mana and the way we do that is by playing 20 lands and we wanted to not rely completely on the phoenixes and so we added a prowess package and what i believe to be the best creature in historic dreadhorde arcanist this card has been banned from legacy because of its interaction with cantrips and removal so you can re recast your brainstorms you can recast your pillars your lightning axes this doesn't work perfectly with arc light phoenix but it creates a alternate plan where you're not totally just digging for arc light phoenixes and putting yourself in a spot where you cannot finish the game without finding this card and so dreadhorde arcanist is the glue between soul scar mage and stripe and sprite dragon sprite dragon and soul scar mage are able to do an incredible amount of damage using the spells you would already be casting to set up your phoenixes and it gives you an aggressive approach to this deck I decided to play a brazen borrower because blue red doesn't have answers to everything like enchantments right a lot of the graveyard hate comes in the form of enchantments like rest in peace and leyline and brazen borrower just takes care of that moving on to our cantrips we have brainstorm opt faithless suiting that is the core essential cards for blue red phoenix they are cards that you you use to set your phoenix up and they work with your dreadhorde arcanist without these cards blue red phoenix would not be a deck faithless suiting is what allows the phoenixes to hit the yard efficiently and allow most of your turn three bring back phoenix plays moving on to your removal lightning axe deals with anything with more than three toughness like crackling drake or other arcanist pillar flame deals with other phoenixes maybe even cats from cat oven and then charter course and strategic planning are both additional cantrips uh, for a little bit more mana charter course can be used to discard an arc light phoenix or even just be a draw to strategic planning is great to clear your brainstorms which comes up a decent amount and finale is a one card combo which allows your phoenixes to come back much more easily so it does really well against discard while being an insane card to trigger a ton of prowess triggers so that is it for the main deck and so next we're going to be moving on to the gameplay and i'll see you there and we're back for the gameplay portion we will be playing first we have a solid hand with soul scar mage and some spells to accompany him going to be starting off with the mountain and passing the turn back <laughs> Uh, this is a pretty easy turn. We'll go ahead and play our blue source and cast the strategic planning. Really looking for a phoenix, but we end up finding a dreadhorde arcanist or a finale. But with no phoenixes, I'll take another engine card, which is dreadhorde arcanist. Get in for two, pass turn back. And here 
I'm gonna just start off with opt see what we're able to find we'll definitely bottom that is a pretty solid draw I'm just gonna go ahead and attack they end up taking the two and we'll go ahead and play the Dreadhorde Arcanist We end up getting censored. Uh, that is a card that we potentially could have played around. So that feels pretty bad. But basically my goal was to incentivize him not to counter the Dreadhorde Arcanist. But instead we ended up walking into a bad situation. Here it's a great idea to just slam the Phoenix naturally. I feel like not enough people do that. In spots like these, they're just trying to make sure that the Phoenix somehow comes back out of the yard. But if they end up using a removal spell here on it, and you end up bringing it back later on, it still got great value. And let's, let's see if they have any reasonable answer to this Arclight Phoenix. I feel like this Phoenix is going to be a problem. And we will start the turn off with an opt. Because if we were to, to draw a card, if we were to hit a Phoenix there, we just certainly just played the Phoenix. Go ahead and cast. This is certainly a very interesting situation where I think this may be the correct play. Discard both of our phoenixes and get in with both. We ended up casting the opt into the brainstorm, into the axe. So we're looking all right. see how this plays out they have a commit they end up putting it back on top and that's okay Alright, we're just going to go to combat and get in for three and we will not be playing the opt because that is we do not want to draw the island. a good opportunity to cast this opt grab the phoenix shuffle away the land go ahead and grab an island 
That worked out beautifully for us. We'll hold this land until it's completely necessary to play it because we can still discard it with Faithless Student. So if they have Torrential Gear Hulk here, it could put us in potential danger. Sensor, which I think is completely fine. We'll pass the turn. We'll take the five. We'll start off with the brainstorm. find two removal sp spells here we have a second phoenix coming back and with this pillar of flames so i really can't imagine a card that can deal with this situation we have certainly put them in a bind Narset, Negate, Stroke. I don't think we want Leyline. <laughs> just for Gear Hulk. It's basically like bringing Graveyard Hate for just Snapcaster, which is not a good thing. We'll cut two axes. I think we'll cut all the pillars. And I think this is the play. lit we got a great curve and uh if we're able to find any spells and then we can finale them back no ley line we will well one thing that we may not have noticed is 
that our mana isn't as perfect as it usually is. So, hmm. We have a tough decision at hand. I think I'm just going to play the Soul Scar Mage and just just start getting in the damage. And we're rewarded by hitting the Spire Bluff. And I think I'm just going to attack first and then go ahead and play the Dreadhorde Arcanist. Which may get censored. But that's okay. Because uh, we, we definitely want to play on curve. Interesting, interesting spot here. We shall def definitely be playing our Sprite Dragon. And we can just play ourselves for falls. Tapped. We'll go ahead and attack both at Narset. Not in the best situation here. Our ops can still be cast on their turn to draw a card, but all right, a push is used. <sighs> we will continue to try and take out this Narset. And we'll go ahead and play it in Arcanist. Pass a turn, leave open an opt, they cycle. Sure, let's see what they resolve, or what they find. Shark Typhoon. That is very, very dangerous. We'll go ahead and opt. That's perfect. Kind of in a weird spot. We'll go ahead and cast Faithless Suiting. We don't have access. To dealing with in this situation. We have a lot of great spells in hand. I think I'm just going to discard these two because the finale can flash back the strategic planning. I'm just going to go ahead and pass a turn. Yeah, the Shark Typhoon really made, makes things a lot more difficult. It makes our Narset worse. And it makes our pressure plan a lot worse. <laughs> so we're going to be taking... Nope. No damage there. Just some blocking duty. Alright, we'll take our turn. They stop us on our upkeep. What is this going to be? Is this Gearhulk? Interesting. Just the perfect draw. 
but I don't think it means we can attack. But it does set us up for the following turn. So this is going to be a cling on the Faithless. We will definitely be taking this opportunity to hit the shark. Uh, the only thing we weren't playing around was Mystical Dispute, which is fine. Go ahead and pass. I wish they would just play a Shark Typhoon. We'll take our next turn. Alright, it is... It is time to attack. We will opt. Yep. Go ahead and try to hit the opt. Kind of scary because we're obviously not trying to get hit. Definitely keep. If they have another shark typhoon, this puts us in really dangerous territory. But they don't. We'll go ahead and play our land. We'll pass a turn. We get to leave open Brazen Bar plus Negate, which is a pretty good place to be. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll just put it on top. They're probably just gonna hit one of our lands. gonna go ahead and play our brazen borrower we're gonna let this resolve we're gonna go ahead and get an island and we'll pass the turn turn we hit a brainstorm pretty good <laughs> all right I actually think that this is a good opportunity to slam the Narset Interesting. Yeah, I'll keep it on top. They didn't try to shuffle, which is quite interesting. here we'll go ahead and untap we'll go ahead and attack they're down to eight
Interesting, interesting. That thing is very scary. Storm at the end of turn. Just a race. I think this is a good opportunity to cast that negate if they have another counter spell at least we used all of our mana and this also serves for one more point of damage if they certainly if they have the counter i think they definitely go for it so we're virtually at four if they decide to attack cards in yard so they're probably gonna draw a card with cling they decide not to draw a card if you're able to find anything. Bottom.
Hmm. All right, we just attack for two here. spot if they draw if they find a removal spell for phoenix then we die <laughs> but our last card is finale so if that resolves then both of our phoenixes will come back all right they end up going to seven instead of drawing the card that's good news down to block cycling block and is it time is it time to cast this finale like they're going for a draw card and they're just eating the phoenix all right we could win here oh that's a beautiful draw so what are we gonna go for here we have strategic planning opt and brainstorm so i think we'll play this I want to leave open both colors. I think that's important. We'll go ahead and fetch. So it's going to be brainstorm, strategic planning, auto pay. We will cast the brainstorm second. It's gonna be very close. Uh, I guess we take this. beautiful game and yeah super powerful stuff all right lastly it's time to talk about the sideboard we have a two aether gust two negate two a braid narset disdainful stroke a braid the royal silence for leyline of the void so the leyline of the void 